Good evening and welcome to another exciting episode of the Men's Lounge. It's obvious today is Thursday, it's 9 p.m. already. So you expect that I'm going to come your way with some very beautiful discussion. Last week, we had a discussion about mobile phones and the effect, you know, on relationships, specifically marriages, okay? Today, we'll continue that discussion, obviously, by popular request uh, from you to continue the discussion that we started because it was much broader than we thought. And so today, we'll be looking at marriage itself, uh, mobile phones, effect on marriage, and other, speci other I mean, relationships, obviously, boyfriend, girlfriend, and trying to lead to marriage, things like that, we'll be looking at them. So I urge you to start sending your messages even early so that today we can deal with all the thoughts that you put through. So the number uh, for the WhatsApp will be 020-2222-054. And then on all our social media platforms, at ETV Ghana. So Twitter, Instagram, uh, YouTube, Facebook, at ETV Ghana. Be part of it, send your comments, and then we'll be reading them. Also today, we'll be opening the phone lines early enough so that you, all of you, can uh, share your thoughts uh, on today's program. Before I go on my very first break, let me remind you that uh, GMABC is still in the tech month, okay? And so this month on all our platforms, we are talking technology, mobile phones, computers, anything IT. Tune into most of our platforms and then you get to know more. I'm going to go on the very first break. When I'm back, I introduce my guest. I'm sure your guest might just be right as mine. So I'll introduce them and then we'll go straight to the point. Please stay with us. Welcome back. If you're just joining us, uh, we are in the men's lounge already. And like I said from the start, we started a discussion about mobile phones and its effect on marriages, relationships. I mean, whether it has some negative or positive effect. Last week, we were able to find some of the positives. Um, interestingly, it, it's, it's, it looked as though the, the, the positives were far less than the negatives. There seemed to be a lot of negatives than positive when it comes to mobile phones and its effect on relationships and marriages and family and all that. Today, we are continuing the discussion, especially when uh, it's, it's more like a popular request from you, the viewers out there, that we need to talk more because there's more to this than we thought. So last week, I was here with Alfred Queno. Um, he's known as Koyo. He's yeah. a banker. Yeah. And also uh, Isaac Denchi. Uh, he Denji Cranton, yes, Isaac Denji Cranton, uh, who also happens to be an entrepreneur, a business analyst. Look, he's a big man. Well, guys, you're here again. Mm, you know, you almost ended up with a slap last <laughs> last week. Who was who was going to receive <laughs> that slap? <laughs> especially when, especially when you started talking about how you you, you look. We'll get there, but guys, welcome. Thank How's you. How's the been? Thank you. Yeah. Uh, every stressful. With and Corona still in the corner somewhere. You know, mm. you can't have fun like you want to, but then yeah. it's all good. You have to thank God for your life. People have lost their life. But yeah. Then, you know, so you have to thank yeah. God for it. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's important to note that as far as you have life, you have opportunities. And so you need to be thankful and also hope that uh, you can do more and add more to society. That's why, why we are here. God has something for all of us. And so, uh, yeah, that's all I can say. Aye. So, some money come the week inside. We're still a chase. <laughs> Bring my share. Home. Uh, don't no leave worries, me out. Bro. Well, yeah, you, I mean, bankers <laughs> are always sitting in front of money, but it doesn't belong to them. I hear you. That, that's <laughs> I hear you, sir. I'm, I'm sorry for you. I hear okay. you, sir. It's okay. Uh -huh. So, guys, we, we, we last week we, we started a discussion on mobile phones and the effect on marriages. We talked about whether there were any positives. There seemed to be a few, you know, positives. And, uh, for me, I mean, what I gathered last week was that the, the, the negative far outweighed the, the positives that we had. I don't know whether the after, after a week we've been able to gather more of those you know, positives to see if we can see more positive in the use of mobile phones and uh, our relationships and our homes and all that. Has there been any more positives found <laughs> out or is it still just the two or three that we mentioned last uh, week? Mm. <laughs> just the two well, or three, yeah. Well, I mean, I, I, and I think for me, I think um, the, the positives outweigh the negative. Oh, you think? Yes. I mean, I, um, it's mobile phones have, have come to make our lives better. Apart I mean, from that, what else? Nothing. Yeah, but, but so that's the, that's the most important thing. Yeah, which is just one thing. But what, what are the negatives? That's Plenty. the question. You know, the negatives are subjective. It depends on what you want. I start seeing the controversy again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so before we left off <laughs> last week, I asked the question. Mm hmm about whether it is okay mm -hmm. to, to, to 
give your partner access to your phone. Mm -hmm. That same question also could mean that could you have more than one phone, probably one known to everybody and one hiding like Isaac does. I mean, he has <laughs> one hiding in the car and then one that he takes home, isn't it? No. Have you changed? <laughs> Since when? <laughs> you haven't changed. So you are keeping it. Uh, I know you guys I'm aware have. You have. I'm aware you have one in your boots. I know, I know you guys have an agenda. But oh, nobody you know, has an agenda, see. but it's, it's, it's interesting <laughs> how you sat here last week and you were just clear that you, the phone, anyway. So let, let's start from there. Yeah. Okay. Mm. You made a point last week about how you think it is okay to, to give your wife access. And then you also started talking about how there should be some limits of a sort, respect and all that. And I think it's, it's there that uh, we, 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 we drew down the curtains on the show. So... Let's let's pick it from there. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's pick it from there. Mm -hmm. So, you still believe, after having five six days to think about this, you still believe mm -hmm. that your partner should have access to your phone. Yes, um, I, I I strongly believe that, and, and we need to define what the access is. Okay, the access is, is is your wife knowing your your password or your husband knowing your password. Oh, there may not be a password on the phone. So yes, so if if there is no password, then there is no problem. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. um, but as I said, you having that access to it doesn't mean you need to abuse it. My thinking is having access uh, is helpful because there could be emergencies, there could be instances where you, the owner of the phone, could not be responsive. You could be sick, in bed, and there's something urgently they need from your phone or whatever. You know, it's 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 okay, but something the, the that has to do with your health, whatever it is. I'm not sure anything but agent will have to do with your health. No, 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 no. I mean, let's let's not be too academic over there. Okay. But you see, the 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 key thing is the res the respect each couple mm -hmm. give the others, trust. I know your password, but I trust you. That's that's that's, that's one one thing. All right. So because I trust you. I, I will not pry into what you do there, all right? The moment you start to, to hide things, I know people who take their, their, their mobile phones to the bathroom, and, you know, somebody using the phone as a soup. Soup. Yeah, <laughs> stuff like that. It could happen, eh? It, yes. <laughs> somebody is bathing, and he gets a call, and he's running with the... Yeah, but he has yeah. a call. He wants to pick his phone. Ah. <laughs> You know, the moment those those things start to crop up, you know, you you chatting and all of a sudden you cut it off, you chatting and you delete part of it and stuff like that. Then the trust issue start to build up, and that is where that is where that is where the problem we spoke about, the the many divorces in marriages start to rear its ugly head. Mm. You know, mm. Alfred. Yes. After six days, have you had any change, or you also still maintain that look? There's no point. Oh, I'm glad my 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 friend over here seems to have a little change. He seems to be changing towards my position. <laughs> where, where was that? Oh, you, you are now defining your access. What do you mean by access? Last year, oh sorry, yeah. last week. Hold on. Last week it was gang ho for you. Your wife or your partner must have access to your phone. That was it. But what is and access? And my point. Hold on. My point was that mm -hmm. there is no rule or socially acceptable level of ownership of phone between partners. If you and I agree that, look, this is how our relationship is going to work. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to put a password on my phone. Don't put any on yours. You can pick my phone and do whatever you want to do. I can pick yours and, uh, yours and do whatever I want. That is an understanding between two people. That is how they want, they, they, they want to set up their relationship. Mm -hmm. if, if, if between two, two other people and they go like, you know what? Based on the kind of friends you know I have and the kind of things they say, look, it's better I put a password on my phone because... I can't allow free access to my phone, sorry, on my phone to my kids because of the kind of friends you know I am. Mm -hmm. That is also between the two of us. But what about, what about because of that, you put a password and she knows the password. We're not talking about the kids here. So, so let's, so let's, hold not, on. let's hold not go hold that. No, hold on. We are talking about marriage in total. Exactly. Marriage involves the partners, the kids, the in-laws and everybody. But let's focus on the, and on the What partners. I'm saying is mm -hmm. that now you are trying to define your access, which I like. Mm -hmm. Look, until... Mobile phones came into being. Mm -hmm. Were we saying that married couples or partners in a relationship didn't have privacy until mobile phones came into being? Yes, we were married, but then we had our own little private issues that we deal with. 
the fact that we are united as one people doesn't mean that we've lost our individuality. Yes. <laughs> I didn't talk when I talked. I, I let him finish. Let this. Let me land. The host wants me to land. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so you land. So, before, before mobile phones came into uh -huh. me, yes, the two shall become one. Mm -hmm. But the two individuals had their own special individualities that, are, that, are, that, were, that, was, that was unique to each other. So, yes, I'm married to you. You know my finances and everything. But there are certain things I believe that, look, I need to do my own thing. Even, even for married couples, there are times that we'll pray together and there are times that, look, the man or the woman will wake up at night to pray alone because he believes that for this particular thing that I want, it has to be an individual thing. Of course, when, it, when, when, when with mobile phones too, I can agree that, look, you can pick my phone and make a call at any time. But if you pick my call to send a WhatsApp, I will send a WhatsApp to who? And expect my, my friend. And expect a response. And, and so for who, my friend? <laughs> you, know, no, no, no. you want to check check balance? <laughs> ah, you have data. Have data. In fact, it's wireless. Uh, wireless. Sorry, it's wireless at home. Uh -huh. So you have access to the wireless. I have access to the wireless. Why do you want to pick my phone and send WhatsApp when we are all, all at home? But, so but all but, I'm saying but, is but, that but, but, but the it, uh, it's up to the two individuals. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Once we agree on a particular mode of handling mobile phones, it's up to us. We believe in it. Don't go and look or observe how other partners use their mobile phones at home and try to import it to your house. It might cause problems. Because but, the two but, people but, understand but, each but other. But Alfred, before, that is my be, point. Be, no, before Isaac speaks mm -hmm. again, I thought, I mean, in that regard, you are then putting a tweak to, to the concept of marriage. Because then at, at, at the point of marriage, mm -hmm. you, it, you are told that you forego mm -hmm. certain individualities and become one. Certain, there are still exceptions. No, you forego all individualities. Oh. Yes, and become one. Oh. Yeah, but the, the question is, yes, I'm struggling. Oh. I'm struggling to 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 understand what are the private stuff you can keep to yourself, all right, and, uh -huh. and, and or keep from your partner. I mean, I mean, I, I really want to understand what, because you see, so so hold the, on. The, the whole I, institution no, of marriage. Isaac, yes, Isaac, please. Mm -hmm. Are you saying that there isn't anything that is so private to you? Okay. So you see, let, let's start. Let's start from ideally, all right. When 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 the Bible says a woman shall leave her parents' home mm -hmm. and join the husband, and the two shall, shall be one. one. Yes. There wasn't any uh, uh, there wasn't any demarcation on uh, you can be one at one point and you can be two at another point. So ideally, all right. What ideally, once you come together, you are one. There shouldn't be, there shouldn't be, there shouldn't, all right? But what is the practical thing? What are people doing? What is going on? Yes, mm -hmm. people. <laughs> so let's, 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 let's be very clear over here. What is the ideal situation? How can you say the two of us are one, but I have some things that are private? And that is where, once I know you have things that are private, I begin to have trust issues, all right? <laughs> and it, it quickly, it builds on, and it quickly leads to the divorces we are talking about. But, but the, the reference yeah. point you made with the Bible, yes, and that particular statement mm -hmm. at the time, mm -hmm. where were mobile phones? <laughs> see, well, see. Uh, can I, can I, can I, no, can no, I I'll, answer? Yeah. I'll let you speak out. Yeah, me. where were mobile phones? But but mobile phones has not come to change who we are. It has, as I, as I, as we discussed last week. All right, mm -hmm. it has just enabled us to do more things, to be able to, it has not changed who we are. It has not changed a man into a woman or a woman into a man. So it doesn't change the context and the institution of marriage as God arranged it. It's actually to help it, to facilitate it, to make it much better. Yeah, but you see, that's, that's where I, I don't get you, because then if you say it, it, it hasn't changed who we are, it is wrong. You know, why? A lot, a lot has changed. Like we are always on our phones now. People can spend half of the day on phone. Yeah. So last that's week, something has last changed. Last week, last week, I did. I said something that the mobile phone is the is the mind and the heart of a human being, because everything you think of, everything you desire, it helps you, you do it better. You, no, you, you do it through here. If you are of course gossiping, <laughs> you gossip through it. If you whatever you're doing, you, you, you get the point I'm, I'm making. It's even faster. Yeah. Exactly. So, <laughs> so it is you. The, the problem is, have people changed? Have generations changed? That, that, is, that, is, that is the question we should be looking at. Not looking at the point of uh, during Jesus' time, there was no mobile phone. So, or, I mean, during the, the time of the Bible, there I, was I no mobile phones and you know, stuff like that. Alfred. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
what's on your mind? Because I <laughs> I see that you keep my, shaking your head. My 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 worry, my pet worry uh -huh. is is the, what is this obsession about m wanting to know what's on your partner's phone? You see, point one. No, wanting to know, wanting to use your partner's phone. W w whichever whichever suits suits the discussion. Okay. Is it to know to use? You know, the the the, the primary for me the primary obsession for each partner is that one is there respect in a relationship are you being treated right based on the activities that both of you are doing do you feel okay in the relationship if all of these things are being met there is no financial leakages anywhere uh, emotionally you are being satisfied i mean with each other i don't think there will be any obsession or any any inclination on any partner's side to say that i want to check your mobile phone you, you see, like I mentioned, there can't be a particular rule on how partners use their mobile phones in a relationship. Every single relationship is different. There are people who use mobile, their mobile phones at home. I, I want to make a call, I pick a call. I, I pick my high school, I make a call. My wife wants to send a, a message to my friend. Instead of using her phone, she picks my phone and then she does it. These are two people who understand that that's how I want to r run our marriage. But my point still so they, holds they have that. Agreed to yes, do that. my point still holds that. Once the marriage is working, the relationship is working, everybody is happy. Why do you want to be as curious as a cat and die afterwards? Because curiosity killed a cat. Mm. Why do you want mm. to die as a cat? Mm. Mm. Everybody is happy in the relationship. <coughs> Why? No, okay. Pandora's box was closed. If mm -hmm. you remember primary school, it was closed. Mm -hmm. Somebody went to open Pandora's box and then the issue started. Mm -hmm. Why do you have to open the Pandora's box? Mm -hmm. Open them. Are you mm. happy in a relationship? Is the guy taking care of you? No, be be is he respecting you? Is he taking care of the children? Does he look responsible? Do you feel <laughs> okay when I'm working with him in town? Mm -hmm. Are you able to say, oh, this is my husband? And then we're, wow. You know, ladies, oh, do you get that feeling? <laughs> oh, your husband is so nice. Do you get that feeling? Uh -huh. Oh, he's so responsible. Mm. Why then after all of this, do you want to, oh, oh, what do you want in, What do you want to see? Mm. What do you want I, to I see? Think you see, hold on. Mm. And last week you made a point that mm -hmm. um, the amount of data People in 1960 consumed in a year. You consume, you in, consume a in a day. Mm -hmm. It is possible that for the amount of data that we consume in a day, there could be debris, bola, that <laughs> may have picked up in consuming that la Oh, friends. Which friends? See, so you see, that, that's, that, that's, see, that's, that, no, see, Isaac, no, no, you can't be proving. I'm making a point. No, but I want to make, make a practical point. Go, so, okay, fine. So, I have a number of friends. Uh -huh. Of course, I've gone through life journey. I'm not that old. Mm. But I've made, I have different, different sets of friends. Mm -hmm. There are friends I've made from Katanga, 2001, up to now. The kind of discussions that we have and the images and stuff that we have. Has nothing to do with your, your partner? It has nothing to do with my partner. Look, yeah. she, won't even, she won't even pick my phone to look at them because behind them, she knows the kind of people Katanga people are. But you see, mm. but I'm not saying before, that. No, 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 Isaac, hold on. Mm -hmm. I, before you proceed on that, mm -hmm. so. The kind of whatever mm -hmm. that will come through on your phone, mm -hmm. coming from mm -hmm. that Katanga group, yeah. mm -hmm. for example, mm -hmm. could come when you both are sitting down, right? Yeah. And then you start giggling and laughing and all that. Yes. You don't think that gets her curious? No. Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? She she knows. Ah, eh, dey o. Madam, for no, eh, mudey mu can see umu. Case close, we move on. Yeah. But what I'm saying, can I? Can I? Can I? Can I just correct something? Let, 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 let him. Let him. What I'm saying is that this may work with a particular relationship. Mm. And the wife knows that this guy, this man that I'm going married to, he had all these sort of friends. Mm -hmm. And mm. they talk about all sorts of things. Mm. So once, look, you can show it to Ebony oh, Jai. Mm. If another partner sees this star and want to import it into their relationship, it could cause trouble for them. Because mm. that's not how they started. So mm. each partner, so each set of partners should identify what works for them very well. Mm. And they apply it. Look, look, there are people who pretend that they have open relationship with their wives. Yet they have second phones in their car. Those phones operate from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. when they get home. <laughs> they don't operate at home. So at home, there's one phone. Meanwhile, when the woman she steps out, this one is on uh, silent. The active one is that small yam that is taken out of the boot. And that, How about that's that? very, it might just be making noise at home. So, mm. I mean, you want to keep it in the car <laughs> just to avoid. Mm. You, you Look, have something to say. Yeah, yeah let, me, let, me, let me just quickly correct this, all right? Um, I think the whole thing about marriage being different from couple to couple, I, I totally agree. Mm -hmm. And I hold, I don't have any problem if a couple agree and decide, hey, uh, for our phones, we won't go there, all right? And the second thing is 
I'm not talking about your spouse or your your uh, yes your your partner checking content of your phone. I've 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 made that statement over and over that there must be respect. All right. So if you know your husband joins a, a, a male group and sometimes they share certain things. You, you give, leave that space. I don't have any problem with that. The, the baseline, the question was, should your partner have access to your phone? It's not should your partner check content of I, your phone. I, content of your phone, me, as I said, me, it's, 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 it's up to, and, and, and I agree with you, it's up to the, 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 the individual couples to decide what, what they will do. Let, let me come in. You know. mm -hmm. Let me come in on this mm -hmm. point. So, you see, as human as we are, we are driven by steps. Yes. Okay. So I want to pick this. I pick this and then this moment, I, I want to pick the next and the mm -hmm. next and the next. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. So you have access to the phone. No, I don't think any partner goes to pick a phone and says today, I want to check your messages. Okay. I mean, I, I want to make a call and all of a sudden I see messages coming through and mistake. Sometimes even mistakenly, mm -hmm. you probably open one. And then as curious as any human being could be, mm -hmm. you read something. It may not even mean anything, yeah. but you're like, well, there could be more. Okay, yes. then you drive on, mm -hmm. and then you drive on, mm -hmm. and then you keep going. Mm -hmm. Now, the whole thought was not to go and check messages. Sure, it was probably to pick the phone and make a call or a quick dial or something, mm -hmm. and then that comes up. Okay, yeah. so mm -hmm. then it all comes back to the access because then you have access to the phone. Your intent was not to go read messages. Your intent yeah. was to go but make but a call. Then it, well, something just happens, I and I then I you start reading. You. Would you, you say because of that you, you, uh, it's different from? your partner going through the content of the phone as against no, no, having that, that access is, to the phone? That is, that is not the key thing. The key thing is that marriage is based on what is called trust. All right? And I like your analogy. I'm just making a call and I see uh, uh, an alert message or whatever on the screen. That says, hey, miss you. All right? Okay. If there is nothing that breaks the trust or that worries the trust, that message wouldn't have come, all right? So the point I'm making, I keep on making it. The cannot send, hey, Sadly, the, the problem should not be the phone. But it should be the individual. Let, so let's once you start to do, you see, uh, there is an account saying that, Ufifi, uh, um, Salmon. Uh, salmon or whatever, mm. right? Mm. Yes. If, uh, if you go pry, you probably will see things. But uh, are there things? So that's, you see, the, the, the trust thing. Ideally, let's we are talking about the ideal situation here. Ideally, there should be trust. He should be a good boy, all right? You not know, have side chicks. Put your hand down. All right? And she should also be a good girl, not have side boys. Mm -hmm. That's the ideal situation. Mm -hmm. If that is the case, and I'm making a call on your phone, nothing will pop up. But you see, the moment there is the possibility of something popping up, then it means there is something cooking or there's something going on. Those are the things we need to look at. And why is it so? Is it because the man is not happy in the house? Is it because there are other problems? Those are the things we should look at, not the phone and whether you have access and you see something or you don't see something. Isaac, I'll hold you on this one. I'm going to go on my very next break. Uh, please stay with us. We'll be back shortly. Welcome back. If you're just joining us, we are still in the lounge discussing the effect of mobile phones on, on marriages, relationships, I mean, all kinds of relationships, but specifically marriages, okay? And so, um, is it okay for your partner to have access mm -hmm. to your phone? Okay, and access to your phone, it, it can mean everything and anything. Today, I want to see something, and then it has to change to something. I mean, a lot can happen. And so, we are talking about access to your phone, and what's, I mean, so yeah, basically, that's what it is. Now, before we left off, I mean, Isaac, you were speaking, but I have a question. And the question is for you both. You, you take it at, I mean, at uh, each time. So maybe I'll start with Alf Alfred. Well, I mean, you already don't subscribe to the fact that you, you, don't, you don't necessarily subscribe or to some point. I, I, that I, I, it's, it's, I, my point is that it's an, it's an option for the couple. It's an option. It's an All option right. And so, so my question is this. If you decide to pick your wife's phone, your partner's phone, and the main purpose 
was just probably to make a quick dial of a number. And then you see a message pop up that says, hey, I love you, good night. Okay? Seeing that message, irrespective of whatever decisions you have to keep a certain limit of respect when it comes to assessing each other's phone, would you want to pry further to know what message that is? At that, at that, at that stage, the m maturity of both partners will be called into question. Okay. Assumption is a wrong thing to do at this stage. I've seen a message. <coughs> you know, the difficulty with text messaging is that there's no way you can, you can prescribe 100% the emotions behind the message. Mm -hmm. It could be a punk message. It could be something that some a day. It could look, be a forwarded you, message. You, call it, look, you, I'll, I'll text you I love you before you sleep. Your husband will slap you. I wasn't there when the discussion was being <laughs> All I saw was, I love you, good night. Yeah. So the, at that stage, is the maturity of the couples that is called into play. Boss, I picked your phone to make a call, as I told you. And I saw this message. Is there a problem? Am I doing something you don't like? I saw this from so, so, and so, and so. Oh, sorry. This silly guy, colleague of mine in my office, you know, the one you met at the wedding, blah, 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 blah. Oh, is that so? If it's a common friend, I call. If it's a common friend, we sit and we discuss. Look, these jokes, I don't like them. The relationship needs to go one, two, three, four. The moment you begin to entertain these jokes, the person becomes empowered. You'll be sending more. Only the devil knows where it will get to. Too much old people will resolve it. Message doesn't come again. But you see, once you keep meet, you assume, you go. The next time a text message comes, you, 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 your heart misses a bit. The next time she's making a call, you, you want to... Then the mistrust, seeds of mistrust, would have been shown. Again, it's, it comes back to the point where I always say, sometimes, like you say, it's okay. Imagine I'd, I'd stuck to using my phone. Mm -hmm. She using her phone. <clears throat> Probably. This emotional turmoil of seeing the message and beginning to imagine what it meant and even she giving explanation, the amount of mistrust it will give over a period of time. We are humans. Mm -hmm. It will give you some level of mistrust until she herself begins to show signs that indeed it was a joke. So it's both these two ways. We could be very matured, we'll handle it, and that text will come again. We could be two matured people in a relationship. We will think we are in love. But the moment that message hits, the empire gets collapsed. So at that stage, that's why you say that, look, it depends on the two of you. If you know your partner, like, like, like you know your wife, you know your girl, she's a jovial type, extremely jovial. She, she's the kind of person who can get into a men's conversation and speak pigeon from beginning to end. When you see such a message, you know, you know her already. But then, two different people. If I go and import such a relationship to mine, maybe my wife is a very reserved type. She, doesn't, she, she thinks peop, people who are like this belong to such people. People are like that belong to such people. So the moment he beg, she begins to see that, look, I'm getting jokes that borders on things that she finds offensive, it might create problems. That's why I keep saying that no two relationships are the same. If I see this, it depends on the maturity of the people involved. If you are matured, we handle it there and then. If you are immature, we begin assumptions, fight, mistrust, ultimately the relationship will break down. Isaac, how yeah. would you deal with the same scenario? Yeah, um, uh, I think um, um, uh, Koyo have spoken very well, and I, I agree with him, mm. you know. Uh, when, when it comes to situations like that, um, you see, that trust pillar, that's where it starts to get hit, all right? There are two things a person can do. One, to keep quiet, okay? And that is when um, uh, you start to formulate things and you, you start to pry a lot more and stuff like that. And two, to engage. And I, I believe uh, communication is, is very key. So it's very, very important you start to engage. But let's, let's see that. I mean, I, I know of uh, a situation where a, a, a partner saw something like that, you know. And because they have built so much trust, the partner was even scared to bring it up because he feels the moment that comes up, it's, it scratches the, 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 um, the, the trust thing, you know. 
Uh, yeah. yeah. So, so, so it's, it's, and it can lead to a whole lot of things. The, the right thing to do for me um, is to, to, to properly <coughs> engage mm -hmm. and, of course, engage maturely. But let's, let's be very careful here. The fact that I see the first one, I engage. You tell me it's just a, a lady friend in the office uh, being stupid. Okay. I see the second time. I see something else from another person. Then it becomes a problem. And that is where the trust thing starts to collapse. And that is when I don't trust you again. And that's when I would want to pry and know more. Are you really being faithful to me or are you telling me lies? Mm -hmm. Are these coincidences or not? So if it's once in a while, it's okay. I mean, and you need to, I mean, as the uh, affected partner, you need to handle it maturely. But it cannot continue, and you expect her to just keep quiet and not be interested in what you are doing and what is happening, that two different ladies or three different ladies are sending you, I love you, and I miss you, and, and, and that was a good night, and you know, that was a good meeting, and stuff like that. You understand what I'm saying? So uh, it's, it's both sides. You know, um, as, I, as I, I keep on saying, there must be that respect, all right? Uh, the extent to which I would want to go. Mm. There must be clear communication. Mm -hmm. If there are red flags, you don't, you don't, you don't let it slide. You, 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 you approach it and approach it maturely. And if the two parties, the two partners mean well, um, you, you can be honest with yourselves. I mean, and it happens. I mean, she sees it, yes, I'm sorry. Uh, there's something that, is, that was beginning to build up. I'm really happy this has happened. Uh, I really would want to get out of it. It's openness. But if you, 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 you lie about it, oh, it's just afraid and nothing, she sees something else. The next time she sees you with the person in, an, uh, in a very compromising uh, position, and it starts to build up. And don't forget, especially women, they don't forget. Whatever happens today, they keep it, they build on it. You know. Well, well said. Need I remind you that the phone lines are, are going to be very well. I, I think that it's even open now, so you can start uh, calling. The number is zero five 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 six five seven two seven eight. I repeat, zero five 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 six five seven two seven eight. And keep your messages also coming uh, to our WhatsApp console zero two zero two 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 zero five four. Keep it coming, and uh, we'll start reading them shortly. So, let let me let me find out this. In, in, in the days when there were no phones, couples, relationships, family, you know, had ways of spending time together, okay? And now, by no fault of ours, there's technology. And whether we like it or not, these mobile phones, devices, are here to stay. F to make our lives better, or to help out with whatever we do, to better the things that we do. How, how, how would we be able to blend our uh, old days of spending time together. I miss this time of, you know, uh, technology that's taking a b the better part of us. How, how, how do we blend? Is there any way? Let's, let's take it as a problem you are trying to solve. How do we blend to just make sure it works? Mm. Well, for me, I think uh, discipline. You see, yeah. la last week, during the deliberations, I made mention of the fact that the mobile phone is just an enabler. Every, every single thing we do as humans the mobile phone has come to make it better for us mm -hmm. so if 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 naturally i like to think about perversious things it means when i pick my phone the most things i'll do on my phone is porn because naturally i like to watch porn and look at things that 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 brings um, sexual satisfaction to me uh, but are you giving an example or you are speaking mm. I, no, I, I, I <laughs> want for example. Like you said for example. example. <laughs> it's just an example, right? Because, because I find it very difficult uh. to walk to, say, a porn bookstore to buy porn. Now it's easier for it me. It comes in handy. Good. Mm. Last week I made mention of the fact that if somebody is a philanderer, the mobile phone make it easier for the person to get more women. Mm. If somebody is a cheat, the mobile phone make it easier for the person to cheat. So same way, if I'm irresponsible, hmm, the mobile phone will make it easier for me to show how responsible I am. That is why I said, the first word I said was discipline. I, we are here. Imagine it's a Friday night out, and we are here to have fun. Of course, you want to chat. But then while we are seated, I pick my phone, and begin to chat with other people who are not here. 
I meet those people, then I begin to chat with other people who are not there. Clearly, I, I, I've lost my sense of relationship. M maybe all along, the only, the only reason people think that when we meet as a group, I'm able to communicate with you, is just because I didn't have a means to communicate with others. But now I have that means, I find it very difficult to put it down and concentrate on having a chat with you. And I think most people try to explain it away. But there are several times that even in a professional space, you go to see a client and you find it very difficult to leave your phone. So you're talking to a client that you want to win business from and you get a text message, you tap. You, you, you check your email. You're talking to the person. question is that, is the, person, is the person sitting in front of you of interest to you? If the person is of interest to you, then why don't you put your mobile phone aside? So for me, I think that in order to get back to our old ways, the old days of having personal relationship with each other, we need to be disciplined enough to know when to go off. Look, we, we are at fault. I don't, I'm yet to come across any mm -hmm. those of us who were born in the computer age or just before the computer age. Mm -hmm. When I say computer, I mean those of us who were born in the 80s, coming up to the 90s, 2000s. Mm -hmm. I'm yet to come across any colleague of ours who is extremely disciplined to the point that once boys meet to sit and chat, the phones are there. We have to challenge ourselves. Like the first person to get a call will pay maybe five cents or buy drinks for everybody. Mm -hmm. It's about discipline. The mobile phone has come to make life easier for us. It has given us so much information. It brought the world to us. It's, it's, it's up to us to now understand which part of the world has been brought to us. It's important to us at which time. What to consume at what point? Yes. Mm. That if you are meeting here with your friends, mm. look, let the phone stay away. Let's finish our chat. We can pick it up and go. I don't talk so much. I so it boils down to discipline. discipline. Let me, de let me yeah. just take this message before we proceed. Um, please add your name next time. So this, is, uh, this person says, what is most private to a person? than a person's nakedness. If you can't hide your nakedness from your partner, then I certainly don't think, don't see why you should keep your phone from your partner, unless the phone is more important than your partner, which I believe is not, or there's something to hide. Please add your name uh, next time and then where you are texting us from. And then there's also a caller on the line. Um, good evening, caller. Your name and where you are calling from? Good evening. Hi, let's hear your name. Yeah, my name is Vida. Hi, Vida. Let's hear you. Yeah, um, what I have to say is um, I think you having your partner's phone, um, I don't think there's anything wrong, but as, yeah, as Isaac said, I think there should be a limit. Mm, there should be a limit. Yeah. yeah. So you can, if you get a call, you can both agree that, or you can take a call or you can do this or that. But that's not necessarily going into his WhatsApp or whatever it is. I, I think um, Toya also said something. But I think you don't want to see something that you get hurt or anything. Probably it's not even anything. He's just saying hi, dear, or hi, somebody. You know, lady. These petty petty things get them angry. So I think there should be a limit. But there's nothing wrong with you having access to your partner's phone. Yeah. So, so but my, shout out to, yeah. shout out to Koyo. Okay, Koyo takes it. But Vida, before you go, don't you don't you think that picking each other's calls helps in bonding when it comes to relationships or marriages? Yeah, it does. That's what I'm saying. There should be a limit. But you can agree, maybe if I have a call, you can pick. And then if it's something I have to discuss with the person, you can call the person back later or something. Who knows? Sometimes it'll be an important call. Mm -hmm. If you are not closer to your phone, your partner can just pick and say, oh, uh, my partner is just, he's doing the design that when he's done, he'll get back to you or something. Okay. It doesn't really spoil anything yet, so that's my view. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much, Vida. Welcome. Koyo, that was a shout out to you. <laughs> Sure, there's a test message that will come <laughs> <laughs> from who? I, I, don't know. I don't know, I don't know where the message nah, will come from. So, gentleman, who is my dad? It's actually gentleman who is my dad calling in and giving you all these shout outs. <laughs> but I want to say, my dad, we appreciate your call. Okay, so we are back here. So, my, my question was how we could blend our old ways mm -hmm. and and I mean, make and I think he summed up to, di uh, to, to, to discipline. Is there any other? Or you also maintain discipline? Yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, that's it. I mean, it's 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 all about being disciplined, mm. and uh, also seeing the value in in direct interpersonal relationship and you know communication, if I put it that way. You know, because uh, uh, as we've said already, I mean, when you go onto your phone, uh, you are reaching out to a virtual world, 
of many people and many possibilities, all right? But your home with, with the family, mm -hmm. uh, I think you should structure your, 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 your life such that probably, I mean, there are some times you, you dedicate as family times, you know. Um, uh, for me, mostly it's, uh, it's, it's, it's weekends in the morning, we do morning devotion if I'm around. Uh, and then later in the, in the afternoon, all right, we, we do family sitting, we, we do a lot of things. We can play games. Isaac, let me know. hold you on on this one. There's a caller on the line. Okay. Good evening, caller. Your name and where you're calling from? Good evening. I'm Esther and I'm calling from Sinyoni. Hi, let's hear you, Esther. Yes, so I feel like there shouldn't be any limit. Okay, you feel like there shouldn't be any limit? Yes, because I feel like anything you see on your partner's phone, it can be explained, right? So in case I see any like new pictures or any message, I feel like there shouldn't be any limit because if you are doing the right thing, anything your wife or your husband sees on your phone, you explain to her and then she's very okay. And sometimes like you go through the phones and then you see certain messages and particular ones are like, they raise eyebrow, right? So I feel like things can be explained. So there shouldn't be any limit. Okay, so you think that as far as everything can be explained, there should be no limit, right? Yes. Interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so do you have access to your partner's phone? I don't have one. Oh, you don't have a partner? No. I'll find you one. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to go on a very last break. Uh, when we are back, the phone, the, the phone calls will continue. The, let your messages keep coming, and then we'll also continue in the lounge. Please stay with us. Welcome back. If you're just joining us, uh, we are still in the lounge discussing mobile phones and its effect on relationships, their impact and all that. And uh, we, we've spoken at length and uh, the, the, the two sides at some points began to merge and all of a sudden they just went apart. But it's fine. I mean, it's, it's understandable. And so um, let me just take this message and then we can proceed. So this is coming from... Um, okay, so the question is a question. What does it mean when your partner tries to prevent you from getting close to her phone? My name is Louis uh, Lonre Anderson from Bawe CP. What should you do if you have a very jealous girlfriend who seems to complain to see pictures uh, of other ladies on your phone, which may be coming from group chat or friends trying to be nice to you, then send you lovely messages? <laughs> and this is still from uh, uh, the same person uh, Louis Anderson. Hmm. Louis, you get my towel. There's a caller. Let me pick that and then I come back to you, Ike. Yeah. Um, good evening, caller. Your name and where you're calling from? Please, uh, my name is Nanaba. I'm calling from Cape Cod. Hi, Nanaba. Let's hear you. Oh, okay. Um, Kimi, I think when um, there's privacy with phones, uh -huh. I think it's going to be best. Are you there, Anaba? We, we can't hear you again. Hello. Yes, you, 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 I didn't get you. Can, can you. can you repeat all that you said? I said, uh -huh. if there's privacy in using a phone, do you understand me? I said, if each and everybody, if your man has his privacy with his phone, yeah. you have your privacy with your own phone, I think it's going to be best because me, myself, I've had an experience with that. Oh, you have had an experience like that. So you think it will be yes. the best. Do you both have privacy on your phones? Perfect. Because emphasophobia, emphasophobia, we be said, say, in the end, 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 in the end. Oh, sometimes, some, okay, for me, my experience, we've, we've both been having, like, he doesn't take my phone, I don't take his phone. So there was this time I wanted to take a very nice picture. So I was like, babe, can you please give me your phone? Let's take a picture. And I was like, oh, nah. Then he was like, oh, okay, just take it. And I was like, can I go through your phone? And I'm like, can I, can I also do this? He said, oh, why not? And you know, women, sometimes when I've been given the opportunity like that, the first thing for you to do is just go to the person's call logs. 
you go to the repeated calls he has been doing, the next thing is email, the next WhatsApp. Mm. Do you understand? The so, next so, it's, so it's not so, even pictures. You actually go to the call logs. That's the first one. Yes. Thank you. So, Thank you. The more you see, the more it worries you. Do you mm. understand? Yeah. So me yeah. first then I vowed to myself, keep your phone. Even if I see, because men and women, we can't lie. The person is still doing it, but will delete it on the phone mm. at the end of the day. So what, what should? And where is the privacy from? Do you know how my name was stored on my boyfriend's Tell phone? me. Nana Mountain will tell me. What was the name? My name is, my name is Nanaba. So he did N dot B. Then my surname starts with A. Then he did N B A. In fact, it's a bank. So if someone <laughs> like this is calling... <laughs> Don't laugh. I'm serious. No, I mean, so I, 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 I'm, I'm serious. I'm serious as well. So, so your, your name is a bank. Mm -hmm. Yes. So imagine he's, she's having an affair somewhere, and I call him. He'd be like, oh, Charlie, my bank people, they worry me. Nothing shows. <laughs> so me, I think men can lie. Women can lie. Stay with your phone. I stay with my phone. Mm. Simple. All right, Nanaba. Thank you so much for being part of our evening, okay? <laughs> All right, I've been watching you every Thursday. Thank so you, keep thank up you. with everything, thank you, okay? Thank you, thank you All very right. much, Anaba. Bye-bye. Uh, you see how they spell the name? A N dot B. Is it A, B? Yeah, N dot B and then A, B, A. A bank. Mm, I, know, I know somebody who said his name was, was, was saved as chop money. <laughs> that's, that's, that's terrible, right? <laughs> to save somebody's name as chop money. <laughs> so, 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 guys, unfortunately... You know, we are, we are drawing close to the end there. Eh? But let me just find out this. Hmm. How do we... I, I asked how we can, we can merge our old ways of being together with the family to our technological, you know, age now. Hmm. But how best can we live with this? It's, look, it's become part of us. Okay. How best can we live? Before you speak on these, let me pick my very last call and then I come back to you. So, um, good evening, caller. Your name and where you're calling from. Yeah, good evening. I'm Douglas. I'm from uh, Hi, let's hear you, sir. For me, it's a no no. I, I, I will not allow my partner to have a to my phone. Why? The reason being that women are very petty and the least uh, limitation on anything she will come across, uh, she will bring it up as an issue. Mm. So you don't. Yeah. So, so it's no. And, and, then if you put boundaries on it, she'll, she'll go beyond them. And then don't take my wife's That's the only way she's going to go and then bring us back. Mm, you see? Yeah, yeah. For me, I don't think my partner should touch my phone. All right. Yeah. So uh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I'm going to take this last message also. I don't see the reason you should have access to your partner's phone. You have yours. I have mine. If you have access to your partner's phone, means there is trust. Okay, well, this is Maggie from Bubash. Maggie, thanks for your message. I'd, I'd like that uh, you, you kindly rewrite it and send it back. Okay. So, my question. Mm -hmm. My question. Keep it. Let's try and keep it quick. But my question was that, how do we just make sure that this does not become an issue? You spoke about discipline. In the very first part, but this time I want to know it's become part of us. How do we live with it? Um, let me start so I can come in later. I, you know, we are beings of behavior, mm. what we practice over time becomes us. Mm. For me, I think we've gotten to the point where um, I should have said this earlier where we have to agree and live in both worlds. Mm. They the try to blend the old with the new. In the sense that beyond the fact that we'll have our time together as a family, as friends, how do you also make use of the mobile phone, various platforms to ensure that we still stay together? If as a family, as a couple, we believe that having a common group um, on WhatsApp uh, or, or Instagram or anywhere where we can still stay in touch, irrespective of the fact that we are scattered across, that, that, that will be blending the old and the new. In the sense that back in the day before mobile phones came into being, after 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 Sunday, we sit and chat. When yeah. it's late, everybody walks to their home. Yeah. That that is the group platform. So right now that uh, because of economic changes, where everybody is trying to eke out a living for himself, look after his family, 
if we can't have the old, then let's blend the old and the new. We will we have our meet time together. Once in a while, there will be, there will be naming ceremony that will turn up. There will be birthdays will turn up. There will mm, be festivals mm, will turn up. Mm. But then beyond that, right now we can create our own WhatsApp, WhatsApp platforms, on, uh, group, sorry, groups on the WhatsApp that we can chat and stay in touch. Of course, you have to call to keep in touch because that's the essence of the mobile phone. So basically for me, discipline and then blend the old and the new. Ike, two seconds. Yeah, well, um, I, I, I think, uh, yeah, discipline is, 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 mm. is very key. Mm. And then the, the other thing is, um, I think we need to share. All right, so you, 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 you know, sometimes some of these platforms and some of the, the videos and the messages they put across can be very funny. Mm. You know, I remember just, was it yesterday or so, I, I, I saw one and I was laughing. And my wife asked, ah, what's, what's that? And I shared what I was, I was laughing about. Because sometimes it helps. So give me the phone. I mean, that is not a problem. Why, why I do, I do, I, I share that, I share with her, so that's not a big deal, mm. you know. But, but what I'm saying is, you, you, you let's not make this giving the, the phone a big problem. But what I'm, the, the most important thing is, sometimes you, 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 um, uh, on wine, on, 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 the, on some of the platforms. Yeah. Just share. I mean, there's a funny video that two of you can watch and, you know, laugh over it. When it's done, you keep your phone. Yeah, she also moves on. That's the respect we talk about. All okay. right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, everything comes to discipline, and then also um, having your limits in terms of respect and everything. I believe uh, this today we've been able to bring you a lot more information on how you know these mobile phones is, is being used in relationships and all that. Um, I wouldn't spend much time talking about anything. I'm going to say goodbye to you for this evening. But I have a solution. The solution is that stop using the smartphones. Go back to the yam. <laughs> uh, you are fine. That's all. Just go back to the yam. <laughs> when the yam is at home, it doesn't attract anybody. <laughs> you are fine, that's it. But it's, it's, it can still cause a problem. <laughs> Have a good night. We'll see you next week.